Welcome to Just For The Tech Of It. I am your host, Drew Prindle, and I will be bringing you all of the weird and wild tech news that you probably missed this week. All right, first up, let's talk about how doctors are using AI. So scientists at the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York are taking a super clever new approach to fighting cancer. Instead of researching the disease on a biological level, they're using an artificially intelligent software program to analyze millions upon millions of doctor's notes. The idea is that by comparing these notes and analyzing relationships between symptoms, medical histories, doctor's observations, and different courses of treatment, the program will be able to find connections and associations that doctors might not have noticed before. It's a pretty clever approach to the problem, but what's amazing about this to me is that the program is actually able, miraculously, to read doctor's notes. I'm not sure if the program is technically like reading the notes itself or if it's working from a transcribed version that a lab tech put together, but if it's actually reading the notes, humanity is doomed. Have you seen your doctor's handwriting before? I don't know him personally, but I'm willing to bet that his notes look like he had a seizure during an earthquake and just happened to have a pen in his hand at the time. If scientists have built an AI that can read that kind of PhD level chicken scratch, fully sentient AI is probably just around the corner. All right, moving on, let's talk about headphones that get you high. So earlier this week, a company by the name of Nirvana, like Nirvana with an E, like the nerves in your body, announced that it will soon release a pair of headphones that can supposedly make you feel high just from listening to music. So here's how they work. The headphones, which are earbuds, are equipped with these tiny little electrodes that send a low power electrical signal into your brain and stimulate the release of dopamine, which is a neurotransmitter that induces feelings of happiness, enjoyment, and mild euphoria. Now here's where it gets awesome. Instead of just kind of randomly sending these electrical signals to your brain, the headphones actually sync up with the music you're listening to and send out pulses that are modulated in relation to the song's unique musical attributes. On one level, this seems amazing, but at the same time, this kind of seems like a slippery slope. Music is already addictive enough, but when you throw dopamine into the mix and manually trigger a powerful chemical release that's in sync with music, you're basically making it possible for people to develop a legitimate physical addiction to certain sounds. If this catches on, AA meetings are going to be way different in the future. Hi, my name is Jeff and I'm addicted to Nickelback. Look at this graph. All right, and last but not least, let's talk about robotic lawyers. So get this, earlier this week, news broke of a 19-year-old kid from the UK who has developed a free robotic lawyer that can give people legal advice online and help them argue out of parking tickets. The program, which unlike a real lawyer is totally free to use, works a lot like a chatbot. It starts by asking standardized questions about the incident, which you then answer in normal conversational language. From there, the bot's conversation algorithm analyzes things like keywords, pronouns, sentence structure, and syntax to understand what your issue is. By determining basic facts, like who was driving, and identifying factors that might have contributed to the ticket, like road conditions or confusing parking signs, the program can actually put together an appeals letter that you can then print out and mail to the court. The program has only been online for a few months at this point, but in that short span of time, it's already helped UK residents appeal their way out of more than $3 million in parking ticket fines. And it's only getting better. The more people that interact with this bot, the more it learns and the better it gets at giving legal advice. I just hope they start building this into all these new self-driving cars because then robots could actually park illegally for you and help you argue out of the ticket afterwards. All right, that does it for this week, but be sure to tune in next week for more weird and wild tech news.